Hello, 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 and welcome to Crash's Mom. M-O-M, Mind Over Mutant. I was planning to make this a smash week. I was going to do uh, Melee. Just had a... Within the past week, week and a half, they added a... They came out with a new uh, a new netplay feature on uh, Slippy, which is used for uh, Melee Online. They recoded the whole thing with rollback netcode, and people were very excited about that. I thought it seemed kind of cool, but I couldn't get people interested to play it with me, and I didn't really want to get my ass beat for two hours straight. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to do Crash today. And maybe we'll do that in the future. There we go. don't want to miss that startup screen. Oh, did I have the... I had the chat covered the whole previous crash stream. Hello, Darian. I'm doing okay. So this is the final crash game prior to the remakes. Crash 7, the prequel to what will be in Japan. Crash 8, Crash 4. It's about time. You still gonna try Entrance on the GBA? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not I'm not committed yet. Do you have video this stream, Darian? Or is it... Uh, I haven't been getting the options lately. Which I wonder if that means more people have been streaming, or... I don't know. Well, it's colorful. So I played Crash of the Titans recently. And you know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It didn't feel like a Crash game. But... It wasn't terrible. I probably would have, uh, had I owned it as a teenager, I would have, uh, maybe not 100 percent it, but I would have at least gotten to the end of it. We got another new Coco design. Even though this is pretty much, this is a direct sequel to Crash the Titans, it looks like. Coco's been completely redesigned. Crash looks the same. I don't know if Crunch is still here, or if he still sounds like Mr. T. Hello, Charles. This is the final Crash game before the remakes. Rest in peace, Jack and Daxter. We will get to it. I guess we should probably turn widescreen on, right? We just gotta figure out why uh, this runs nicely on my computer and poop on Jack's computer. Fortunately, it does run nicely on my computer, so we can at least uh, we know at least play things here. And I actually just acquired a bunch of uh, legal PlayStation 2 discs, so I have plenty of solo stream material for a while. Be no shortage of that in coming weeks. Does this game look a little ugly compared to other crash games? Uh, I guess I guess normal, tricky. Or should I do mild? You know what? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna bitch out. I'm gonna go mild just so that we can maybe get through the levels faster and see more of the game, because I'm not gonna probably not gonna do a full playthrough of this. I didn't do it for a Crash of the Titans. Uh in terms of graphical quality, I think it looks nice, just because, you know, they got PS2 emulation, upscaling. But they did redesign the characters, which never goes well. I will say I think this Coco design looks better than the previous Coco design. It's weird, wide face. So we get this kind of intro again. 
Last game was a soft reboot. Nina's here. There's very Looney Tunes sound effects. We asked about burnout the other day. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to stream it or not. I remember playing Burnout 3 at a friend's house very briefly and thinking it seemed kind of cool. And I enjoyed Paradise, so... Uh, maybe, as long as I was getting, you know, legal PS2 discs, that might be something to check out. And uh, opinions were divided online between Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge being the best one, so. I have both of those. Maybe I'll try them. Oh, Crash kind of... He just he just kind of slides around before he starts moving. How, how far can I go like that? Only a couple inches. What do we got? We got a comic book. Kids Art Pack. Excuse me? Oh, there's like, uh, there's like Crash Fan Art Gallery. Alright. I guess it's fan art from the first game. Got the bestiary. Join game. What do you mean, join game? Like, multiplayer? Oh, hey, Tana. Crash Greeny. Oh, green shorts. This must have had, like, some kind of multiplayer to it. There's, like, multiple skins, and it's telling me to join a game. That is, that's bizarre. That's not something I expected for this. Okay, and then we got cutscenes. Let's just leave. Just get out of here. Talk to Coco. I can do that. Where's Coco? My feelings on uh, the previous one, Crash of the Titans, was that it wasn't wasn't a bad game. Didn't feel like a Crash game. It felt more like a Looney Tunes game. Like it would have been very fitting for those characters to have been it been in it. It had that kind of humor, just walking up on uh, enemies, having a conversation, and interrupting them. It's just weird to, weird to have Crash punching. Same controls as the previous game. I don't think I have the spin anymore. Except in the air. And he does a little dive now. It feels slower. Is there a run button, maybe? This movement speed does not feel as fast as, uh, Titans. Shut up, phone. Oh, uh, audio level's okay? Don't mind the interruption of me on stream. Oh, uh, audio level's okay? Don't mind the interruption of me on stream. Uh, audio... Let's see how deep we can go. Oh, hello, Coco. There you are. And Crunch is here. Seems like an expansion of Crash of the Titans rather than a straight-up sequel. Oh, stupid dang work! I mean, people have said that about the original Crash games. It's been like a metric year. Who's gonna make us? You? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so it's still Jimmy Neutron voice. She sounds a little less nasally than the previous game. I got you. If 
if I get this Duminator eye working, we'll have the best entertainment system of all time. Okay, she's It'll back to games, sounding like Jimmy Neutron. Watch movies and dispense butter. It'll be the mother of all Tebos. <laughs> also, this Coco is obsessed with butter for some butter. reason. And where'd I get this? Short-term memory loss. Confused. <laughs> and where'd I get this? Crash. To get this thing working, I'll need a bunch of parts. Here's a list. The aesthetic is First rather up ugh is the to me. Capacitron by my house. I didn't fly with classic Crash fans because it was just so very different. I do think, I do think this at least looks better than uh, than uh, tag team racing, maybe even Twin Sanity. It has a style. It's just a, it's not a particularly crashy style. Also, it's not really chugging. Kind of looks like maybe there's a little bit of frame lag here and there. Let's beat up a plant. It's sweet juices. Oh. Wait. I'm... Okay. I guess I can walk on water. Crash the Messiah, everyone. I don't know, I'm used, I'm used to rivers and crash being deadly. Find the rest of Coco's parts. Oh, is that what we're doing? Uh, some of the games I was looking at, things that will uh, likely be future streams. Hello. Quentin Flynn still doing minion voices. Or Tom Kenny, maybe both. I can't tell. They sound similar. Uh, I'm planning to do the TAC series probably soon. I've been thinking about playing those. To do your uh, classic spin attack, quickly rotate the left analog stick. Spinning is a great attack, and also a way oh. to quickly collect mojo. I do have it. Spelunky Death Roulette, I mentioned. I want to probably do a, a couple streams of that, see if I can get people in. It's a platforming roguelike with chat participation. Nice one, Crash. That power-up will double the amount of mojo you collect for a short time. So hurry up and break stuff. I got uh, Paperball, which is a recent <laughs> Steam game. That is like a spiritual successor to Monkey Ball. And I've never even played Monkey Ball, so. Even so, it looked like uh It looked like a good uh it looked like a good spiritual successor. A lot of those happening recently. It was a Temtem -tem trying to take over from Pokemon. And uh that like Animal Crossing thing for PC. I don't remember what that one was, or uh, I think it's still in development. It's still pretty early. Why can I? Why am I just losing momentum in the air? I also cannot. Uh, I cannot uh, spin in the air to go a little extra distance. He just stops, just halfway across the gap. I might stream Monkey Ball as well. I'm a, if I do, I'm gonna stream Paperball first. Because, you know, I, they're, they're, Monkey Ball has been kind of fucking up for a little while. And if there's some cool new indie devs making cool new Monkey hype. Ball, and I want to support them. Left analog stick and press the X button. Those are both potential, though. Uh, I found out about a Rayman 1 fan game. Or fan remake that is supposedly very good has a lot of new content. I, okay, I hate this Crash's movement. Crash of the Titans controlled way better than this. I don't know why I keep just randomly stopping in the air and it's awful. So Rayman Redemption is almost definitely something that's gonna be happening. I'm very interested in that. Oh, that tilts. This 
looks like it plays like a lousy Jack game. Yeah, I mean, that was more or less Twin Sanity was a lousy Jack game. You'll be constrained by special rules, but if you succeed, you'll gain a valuable treasure of mojo. Hey Charles, what are uh, what are your opinions on Lost Frontier? Did you ever play it? Because I don't know a whole lot about it, the fourth uh, Jack and Daxter game. But I think it was like an attempt to go back to the Jack and Daxter 1 kind of style over the city and guns in later ones. Okay, maybe if I... Maybe I like keep spinning. No, I cannot keep spinning. I just, I can't do the helicopter over gaps anymore. Sure. Oh, you saw a YouTube video on uh, Rayman Redemption? Yeah, that's something I'll check out. Maybe... I wonder if that epic Paper Mario fan project is still going, because that looked kind of interesting, too. Played it, thought it was a myth. Oh, it exists. It's on PS2. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get to it after the first three jacks. Uh, Okami, I found out was on Steam, which I didn't know about that. There's a, there's an HD remaster. Not only that, but it was on sale. So, I picked up Okami on Steam. For ten bucks, and that's something that—that's uh, something I could very likely do a solo stream on. I rented that on the PS2 way back when. Oh, that's TNT. Okay, harmless TNT, as it is in Crash. Crash, you need to spin on top of this to make it work. Luckily, I hear that spinning is something you do pretty well by now. Immediately fails to spin, throws a punch. Come on! Spin, you idiot! There we go. Oh, I gotta do it over and over again? Wait, how? Oh, yeah, I gotta keep mashing. These voodoo dolls will unlock special rewards for you, Crash. Collect all of them to get tons of cool stuff. not seem to jump higher than this. Uh, hat and time. Crash, this is the spot where the spin drill move would be useful. Oh, Try right. Doing it here to advance. Uh, hat and time, Jack and I talked about doing together, but we've got so many games to do together that I don't think we're ever really going to get to it. And we're, you know, we're playing Mario Odyssey right now. So that's something I might do solo. I got the other, uh... I got the other PS2 Spyro games after we did, well, like, half an hour of Enter the Dragonfly, which was not great. Maybe I'll give them a shot, just to see if they improve. great diggers, and you are no exception. When you see diggable stuff like this, rotate the left analog stick, then the square button to dig through the ground here. He really likes this rotation thing, and it's not reliable. I keep accidentally punching. When you reach the end of stuff you can dig through, do your spin attack to pop out. You see how much I'm struggling to do this basic maneuver. Oh, and then I have to do the whirl spin thing again to get out. It's like the Mario Sunshine pipes, but shittier. Come on, get out. Spin. Spin, you idiot! 
Oh, it's a, there's a specific spot I gotta do it in. Oh, great. You know what? No, let's go this way. Let's not do that. Croc games, I was considering. Crash 8. Crash struggles at spinning. It's sad to think about, isn't it? It's like old man Crash with arthritis. He can't spin so well anymore. Why did I come back up again? Wait, where am I going? Was this an alternate route? Crash, you've unlocked the spin upgrade. Now you can spin longer before getting dizzy. Thanks. Crash gets dizzy. God, how ba how bad would a Sonic game be if Sonic got dizzy? Am I supposed to like ruin the foundation? Or can I bring these down? that noise. Well. Can I get up there? I guess I can't. Not from this series of tubes, anyway. I also got the uh, dot .hack games, which I've always been kind of interested in, because I liked the... I watched several of the anime series for dot .hack, but the games were just so expensive. Because they were in such limited supply over here in the West. SPIN CRASH! interested in giving those a shot. Got God of War I might try out, and uh, I got some anime games that will probably be uh, mashed together. In like, uh, just Zellrog tries a bunch of anime games stream. I got a One Piece fighter. I got, uh, there's a Full Metal Alchemist RPG on the PS2 that has drawn comparisons to Kingdom Hearts. And, uh, I don't know, a bunch of Naruto games I haven't played, just because why not? Is this fun so far? No. If you're hanging onto a ledge, I didn't expect it to be. Down by pressing the triangle button. I did at least expect it to be an improved version of uh, Crash of the Titans. And so far, it's not that. The platforming is worse. So, that is disappointing. Can I turn the camera? This is a very awkward angle to be trying to do this at. It would be much easier if I could look straight ahead with the camera. But that's the challenge, that you can't look straight ahead. The best kind of challenges in video games are when you're fighting the camera. Well, I guess I could do that. Full Metal Alchemist has a game. Full Metal Alchemist has several games. I, uh, own one physically on the DS. And that one's a beat-em-up. It was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about. There were actually, uh, two... I think there were three Full Metal games on the PS2. Two of them were brought to the West. And the second one's supposed to be not as good as the first, so if I check any of them out, it'll be the first one. What the fuck happened? 
Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog is this is not a Naughty Dog game. Uh, Naughty Dog did the first four Crash games up to Crash Team Racing. Then it went to. Uh... I don't remember who made Crash Bash. But at the very least, Crash Bash did a good job of uh, keeping the style of the Naughty Dog games very well, I thought. It's a little windy here, Crash. You'll have to time your jump when the wind is low to safely reach the other side. And I believe Traveler's Tales did Wrath of Cortex, the first PS2 game. Went to Twin Sanity. It just went through a bunch of different game companies under, uh... I know Activation, Activision owns the, the Crash IP. Yes, all of my games are, of course, owned and physical. Every single one. I gave some lucky game shop somewhere $500 for all four Got .hack games. That's how I acquired them, yes sir. None of that went to the devs of the games, but you know what? That doesn't matter. I just want to support my local used games, my used game economy. Let's get going. Shortcut. Uh, shortcut to fucking death? You want me to go where? I'm s am I supposed to jump down here? I didn't hear what he said. Well, I don't think- I didn't seem like I can go back, so, uh... Oh yeah, it's a shortcut back home. Okay. I'm assuming this giant robot was like the final boss from my, from Crash of the Titans. Enemies are insufferable, not in a fun, annoying enemy way. Again, I think they would fit in if this were a Looney Tunes game. Or like Taz or Bugs running around, throwing punches, walking up on enemies, having silly little conversations. That'd be fitting. Just not, not for Crash. Come on, get in there. It's a door, Crash. Use it. Whose house is that, even? Does Coco have a separate house? Where am I going? Did I get all the things? I don't know how to check my things. Hello. Finally, Crash. Give me this stuff and let's fire this sucker up. Watch us some next car. Yeah, turn and lift. That's a Jeff Dunham joke. You Are just you stole that crash. Too many gadgets cluttering your life? There's got to be a simpler solution. And now there is. Ladies and gentlemen, Embryo doesn't sound too I fucked up. to you the NV. Access any file. Talk to your disgusting friends. Watch pay-per-view and Julian Fries. Why did the art style change so drastically, so it is suddenly? Certainly not an evil plan. What do you think of that, audience? Also, why is his hair purple? Bad credit, no credit, disgusting personal habits. Just put on the helmet already. Yes. Now I have more time to devote to my hobbies, like falconry and classical cheeses. Thank you, NV, for giving me technological bliss. But wait, you revolting peons, there's more. I just can't think of it right now. Now, how much would you expect to pay for this technological superiority? Let's hear some guesses, sheeple. 11,000 dineros. That was Zap Brannigan. Billy West is in this game. Uh, sure, I'm begging your pardon, but I, I think I have a defective card because uh, Tom Kenny. It says nothing. It's my great they spent all the budget on the voice cast in this game. Will arrive at the doors of Wumpa Island inhabitants free of charge. <laughs> And well, none of it on the writing. This is like a first spirit. draft script. And I can't believe it's not Tolstoy. Call now and you'll also receive neckbeard in a can. Got a problem? Spray some hair on it. 
Stare into the dancing lights. Stare and dream. Stare and dream. Get your NV today. Soon to be available everywhere but Arkansas. There's a reason the Crash Cartoon didn't go beyond the pilot. Yeah, Kings, messaging, dancing lights. It didn't even get the it didn't even get the pilot. It got an intro sequence, and it never got past that. Because the humor of the original Crash games was all about... It was all non-verbal. Now they're trying to make just a lot of dumb jokes, a lot of dumb one-liners. It's very forced. This, this just screams devs who didn't just get the appeal of original Crash. And this kind of, this happens with a lot of series. It's not just Crash. I kind of, I kind of feel this way about, about Rayman. Whereas the first game was, uh, very ambient. Very beautiful to look at. And then they just kind of... Over time, they made it more and more wacky and cartoony. They added voices. Slapstick. And that, that's be kind of become the Rayman style anymore. But uh, Donkey Kong did that over the course of its four games. I mean, the first four games. They just got cartoonier and cartoonier up through Donkey Kong 64. Freezer burn. N is for evil. Don't recycle. That's a terrible moral. This game's humor borders on Johnny Test's brand of humor. I, I've said it before. I just see Johnny Test as like a, an uninspired, gender-swapped Dexter knockoff with worse jokes. And much more pandering to kids. As opposed to Dexter was kind of... They kind of aimed that era of Cartoon Network more or less at everybody. Where the fuck am I going? They didn't tell me. They didn't give me a new mission. Locked kick. Get this crash. I, I never more than now has that image of Crash next to Sheen from Jimmy Neutron been more apparent. Like, this is just his persona. They look exactly the same. I was just talking about Sheen earlier in the Discord, too. I think, I think it came up... It came up because uh, Wickersham showed me an artist's rendition of some uh, some character redesigns for like a Jimmy Neutron 2D reboot. And they look cool. But how the hell did, did Sheen of all characters get a spin-off? What an unnecessary doomed to fail spin-off Planet Sheen was. Which also brought me to talk about the Totally Spies spinoff on the Discord, which did exist. Totally Spies got a spinoff that I believe only got one season. Maybe it actually got two. It was called The Amazing Spies, and it was more or less just the same premise, but with four kids. Uh, Jerry over at Whoop, recruiting kids for the spy business now. I'm just wandering. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I can't go in this water. There's an invisible wall. So, I, I, I guess that's nice that I can't kill myself. The 
The music's alright. This sounds like a progression of the Crash style of music. It's not as good as the original Crash game's music, but it's there's the style is there. It, it kind of captures the idea, the essence. Same reason we got the Cleveland show. Well, Cleveland's not the comic relief character in uh, Family Guy, though. Every character, every character in the show is a comedy character. Oh, I had to go get the mail. How is this Coco so dumb? This is ultra cool. I'm sending Crunch a text message. I just got a text message from Coco. I'm gonna reply. <laughs> like she was never a Ditz character. Guess it originally. Like you crash. <laughs> I'll be honest, guys. I don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> now I'm receiving 400 text messages a minute from ordained clergy. <laughs> I... I forgot what I was going to say! Wait! I got it! Kill the bandicoots with violence and new holes! <laughs> Come on, everyone! We've got company! Can't talk? Watching monkeys! This, Look is, at the monkeys. this is a strange oh, right game. Looks like it's just you and me, Crash. That was that was Ghost in the Shell. That was a Ghost in the Shell transition. Just pop culture references. When has a show ever been improved? When has a, a franchise ever been improved? By changing whatever its original style was and going full in on pop culture. Okay, South Park. Other than South Park, any other instance of that being a success? It's usually not. It's usually a sign of running out of material. Or not understanding the original, like, idea and style of the thing. Alright, we gotta find Engine now. Where could Engine be? Is that what we gotta do? Yep, find engine. And he's across the bridge up on a mountain, I guess. And I'm gonna guess that place that was a wall before is no longer a wall. Oh, there's a quick mission. I've seen if there's like a like a first person mode. There does not seem to be. I still have the same commands as the previous game with like the guard and the power attack and everything. I just haven't used them yet. This this game is taking a while to get to the the Titans. Hello, Envy. Are you are you named after the device in this game? Is is that the idea? Oh, here we go. Here's our first Titan. Crash, he looks pretty tough. If he's blocking your attacks, boogity, boogity. good job, boogity, boogity. Crash. No, not for, from the NV glasses. Okay. Uh, I believe you were around for the Crash of the Titan stream, weren't you? This game has a very strange aesthetic, and I've had some issues with the controls so far. Maybe it was just certain areas. Crash seems to like to uh, just randomly stop in midair at points. Well, what about a tasty whoop of fruit? 
Look, I don't know what a whoopa fruit is. I'm not convinced it's a fruit. Capture the big egg for all we know. So, uh, whoever that is, and their Jewish comedian impression is back. I keep thinking I can do the the spin to cross gaps, and I can't anymore. What's my way to climb walls? How can I get up here? Can I... Oh, okay, that's a ledge I can grab. Didn't the right stick also control the camera in the last game? Because that is not the case here. There we go. That's one of them uh, them gaps that it takes a while to cross. All right. Got the cheese gear. the triangle button at the right time to dodge their that's one down two oh to go, they added Crash. quick time press the triangle button to get it nicely done crash your speed is your greatest asset when fighting big things like that i know i just wanted to see what was over there across the gear okay crash now this enemy is going to do a heavy attack time your dodge and counter and take him out Brilliant Crash! I'm so proud of you! It's like Crash combined with the, the Arkham system. They kind of took over video games for a little while. The, the slow, quick-time event-based beat-em-up. It's not that bad, but... I am watching a uh, playthrough of A Hat in Time. It looks very interesting insofar as uh, not only does it use a lot of platforming elements, it also... There's some uh, parallels being drawn to Thousand Year Door, a big Mario game. It's got like a badge system. Even drops a reference or two to it. Okay, we have a wild titan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the quick time commands definitely make fighting Titans a whole lot easier than it was in the previous game. I would think. That kind of fruit. That's not a wump of fruit. Mm. You can freeze sparkling water with this Titan. Give it a try now. <laughs> sparkling water. Oh, the uh, it's the Majora's Mask 3D method. That power up lets you do four times the damage for a short time. Hurry up and hit somebody. Aku Aku encouraging violence. What a terrible guardian god he is. Just going up the temple. At least you can kind of, uh, you can platform with the titans now. You couldn't really do that in the last game. This game is, uh, more platformer and less beat-em-up than, uh, Crash of the Titans. 
Dead end. Nothing over here. I wonder. Oh, Crash can get up there. How do I dismount? I god damn it, I tried to do the spin thing again. Uh oh. That's not good. How will Crash get out of this pickle? I think I can spin out of it. I uh, was talking about uh, Majora's Mask 3D earlier, and on that note, we talked in the Discord about how uh, apparently in the in the game's files they found the models for Ganondorf, Sheik, and Impa from Ocarina labeled as fishing hosts. So presumably, at one point in the remake's development. There were plans to add Terminian versions of those characters, and they would just—they would be the fishing, the fishing hosts of three different fishing holes. And that didn't pan out in the final game. The final game, they just used some uh, random nobody NPC duplicate for the fishing hole, and there was only one. Why? Why does he just stop in the air like that? That is what is really getting me about this game. But yes, that's what started the whole conversation, which I think we mentioned during our Majora playthrough of uh, Ganon the Fisherman. Which Darian drew for us. There he is. Wow, that's weird when you drag a, a URL to OBS. I guess that's what it does. But there's Fisherman Ganon. I thought that was cool. That's all. That's all I wanted to show you. Okay, now I can give my undivided attention to this gap. And I still barely made it. Not the best crash platforming. It feels like I'm being forced downward a little bit. Uh, no backseating, please. Just leave me to play the game as I would. As my very first time playing it without any help is what I would like, please. If I need help, I will ask. Hello, Shell Doc. So this doesn't seem to be anything yet. I guess I can't do anything here. That looks like a cool thing over there, if I can get to it. However, this looks like a gap that Crash is not going to... He's, he, this is a gap that he's going to stop mid-air if I try to jump it. Yeah, that jump speed. I guess I'll go back then. I am fighting the controls a lot in this game. There's an invisible wall there. Movement speed, I mentioned earlier, also feels much slower than uh, Crash of the Titans did. I guess that's not a climb onable rock. Not now, phone. Well, welcome to the stream. 
This is my first time playing this game. I had not played uh, this, Crash of the Titans, or uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. I just did those two for the first time recently. And uh, I just, I missed the games after Twin Sanity. I've been going up through the entire series, and uh, those are all on YouTube. I did, I did full playthroughs for most of them. After Twin Sanity, I've just kind of been looking at the games, just because I want to see what they are, not necessarily commit to a full playthrough. Okay, why can I not get up on this rock? Am I going to need my Titan friend again? Oh, I can't go back that way to get him. Maybe I can dig back over there. I keep thinking I can just move underground, but no, I have to continuously press square in order to move in these not Mario pipes. So it doesn't seem like I can go back to the left. spinny thing. Is there not one? Can I not resurface there? I guess I'll go across the river. Why almost nobody shoots this game? It's very unlike other Crash games, so I think a lot of people who grew up with the original Crash games, like me, Probably aren't going to care for it, because it's just such a different style of game. It feels like a different franchise. And there are people who grew up with this particular game that are, that are going to remember it fondly, like the two of you. Kind of defeats the purpose of making it a part of an established franchise, though, if it is going to be so wildly different. Like, the point of making it a Crash game is to help sell the game. Okay, I'm being told I can store my Titans, which, if that were a critically important game feature that I need to progress, that probably be something that the game tells me. In any case, I do not have my Titan, and I have no way to get back to where he is. So, either there's somewhere I can go from here, or else I just have to die? Yeah, these two games were very much outliers in the Crash series. I mean, they were kind of all... They were they were really just throwing darts after the first several. After Wrath of Cortex... I hate this gap. Just jumped in the water. I can't progress from here. Like, I, I perma-fucked myself without the... Without the Titan. Sparkling water. That is bizarre. There's invisible walls, I guess, because the ability to fall into any water was deemed too difficult. After Wrath of Cortex was criticized for, uh, namely, loading times, but also kind of just being too similar to Crash 3. I 
And then after that, they were really just kind of throwing darts with what to do with the series. Because after that, they got the message that they had to do something different, but they really didn't know what to do different, so they just, just started trying everything. Oh, this one's already tamed. Okay. I'm gonna guess that I can freeze this. Yeah. You can use your sneeze attack to easily freeze blast of water. Well, what's this way? Oh, just that. So how long do they stay frozen, I wonder? I guess they stay frozen forever. Okay, I'll take it. So I'm just kind of wandering around Wumba Island at present. How long is, uh, how long is this game? I know the previous one was level-based, and that was 20 levels? Whereas this one is more free-roaming. Free like, uh, how many missions are there? How many bosses? Uh-oh! Okay, it's fine. He can grab. They all just have the same voice. I mean, I gra granted, they're the same kind of enemy. Hopefully those aren't the same kind of mooks that we see the entire game through, though, because that would get old. Wow, Crash Crates got a lot bigger over time. That gold thing looks potentially important. I guess I should get that. It should be different because it's as fast as you know where to go. Well, so we're not going to get very far in this then. <laughs> Just unlocked a health upgrade. Oh, now great. watch that health bar grow. A little bit anyway. And just dead. Just gets no jumping distance. Oh, that just goes nowhere. Okay. Oh, I like exploration in games. Not so much. When you freeze water blast, you can use a heavy attack to break through. Not so much having no direction, but uh, that tube looked like it could be something, but I don't think I can go back up again. Lunacy on the wind. Engine must be up ahead somewhere. Lunacy on the wind. That's one way of describing engine. So we have our first boss. Seems like. What percentage did that say? Six percent. Okay. Do you have DC? Dreamcast? I wanted to get the thing! I think there's somebody inside here, Crash. 
Go check it out. Uh, we do have a Discord. There's a link below. That's all right, though. I'm, I'm only planning to play this the one time. I was never really planning to do more than one, uh... One Titan stream, one Mind Over Mutant stream. <laughs> what are you doing here? And we have yet Get another art style. Special place! I haven't cleaned or shaved! You weren't supposed to see it like this! Engine! What are you even doing yeah. here? When Dr. Cortex escaped, he left me here. But I have brains! And desires! I will not be ignored! I have been watching you and your delicious sister. Delicious? Excuse me? Precious! I meant precious! I'm gonna eat her. Watch! Watch Bandicoot and collect information! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And when Cortex is triumphant, I will be rewarded with glories and showers of presents like a million Quantas. <laughs> and die, engine! will be made king of Wumpa Island. I'm a be like Serpentor. Ugh, you're totally nuts. Punch him in the throat. This Aku Aku throat. is violence. I need that for swallowing. <laughs> Guards! It's like a series of thinly veiled crash cartoon pirates. Pilots, not pirates. Take them out, crash. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of innuendo as well from this game. This looks like something. I don't know what to do with it, though. No? That doesn't break it. Do we have special moves anymore? No, special, the circle button dismounts. We gotta stop meeting like this, engine. Wait! Stop! Leave me alone! I am too pretty to be thrown punches, for I have been watching and studying you for a lonely year now, with only these idiot rats as company. That's not very nice, boss. Quiet, Tina, or I shall give you the back of my missile. I'm only gonna say this once, Engine. Get off our island. I'm sorry. I'm not here to take your message right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep! I'm going, I'm going. It was worth a shot. Let's see what Crunch and Coco are up to. Probably still stuck in their uh, idiotic headsets. You're welcome to watch the stream here. And we're talking right now. I'm getting up to the minute weather reports. It's hot. And I'm attending a symposium on the effect of hungry, hungry hippos on children. Uh, Another pop culture reference. Uh, probably a feature. Add Don't a check. About it. I feel funny. Not ha ha funny neither. Fold your laundry. Get a, is this the game we get a Coco boss fight? I heard that was in one of the games. Is that our evil Coco? Because Twin Sanity didn't do that. We've got to hurry back and help Coco and Crunch. Get moving, boy. So, there's got to be something I can do with this. Hmm. Crash, I can store your Titan so you can take oh, that's them how along. It goes. Okay. Try it now. You're welcome to watch another stream. Feel free. Thanks for ha thanks for hanging out. Get two times a whole lot of nothing because there's uh, nothing to collect around here. Where's this going? Is this the path I was on before? I know I've been here before. I need to go back to Coco. Is 
That's not Coco, that's death. Don't. Okay. Well, I guess I should be going this way, because he said don't when I turned around. Isn't this the way that went into the cave? Or is this a different way? Look, walking food. I am quite lost at present. There's new stuff here that I haven't collected, though, so that must be something. Oh, this is the waterfall shortcut. Can I bring my new Titan friend and beat up Coco and Crunch with him? of the Duminator. I'm going to assume that's the big crash thing from the previous game. Is it just so slow walking in some directions at some times? It feels so inconsistent the way Crash moves. Alright, see you later, Envy. Yep, there's our evil Coco and evil Crunch. Don't touch my gizmo! It's fantaculous! Crunch! Come back! Now, are we going to unlock Coco, maybe? Because it looked like she was she was playable. In some of the earlier earlier footage that we saw. Crash, did you know that if you time an attack just right, you can hit back projectiles? Okay. What do you do now? Is, is that what they did with the top of this device? Because they just turned it into a basketball court? I guess I was supposed to do something while she was down there. Well, not punch her, I guess. Crash. Don't forget that you can use your beam to freeze water in place. And the Yeti beats the shit out of Coco. That's how this boss fight goes. Is that the new running gag with Coco is that she gets set on fire a lot? And another style, with Chick-fil-A sponsorship. Hello? Coco, you're back to normal. The NV loaded you up with some sort of dark mojo. I could feel my brother's influence pervading you. Oh, but it was so cool. Are you sure it was nefarious? Oh, yeah. You practically grew horns. Oh, fudge. Well, now I'm mad. The best gizmo in ages is evil! Crunch is still under the NV's control. We need to find where he's going. I 
Boys, I got a plan. I'll use the eye to hack into the villain's network. Just give me a sec. I think I've got something. There's a video posted in Cortex's blog. Cortex has a blog? Oh, yeah. All the cool kids do it now. Well, they did two years ago, anyway. Really? I never heard of that. Yeah, big shock. Watch this. Well, I don't know how crashy it is, but I like the comic book style. It looks nice. Uh, there was a piece of lettuce in the urinal. Who eats a sandwich while going to the bathroom? Seriously. Anywho, minions, I stand before you reborn. Renewed. Recommitted to evil. And I've made up with an old colleague. Join me in welcoming Nitrous Brio. Yes, it is I, Embryo. My name sounds like fetus. <laughs> no doubt you all remember me as the creator of the Evolvo Ray. That was him? I thought Cortex did that. Of course it was me. I invented the Evolvo Ray and mutagenetic techniques still used by that treacherous Cortex today. Lore. I was in the first game! <laughs> mm. Lovely mutagen. So good. And I'm very happy to be back. Yes, it's been forever since we've done some old school evil. Oh, and I've got some old school evil in mind. Allow me to present the NV. It's a bold claim that uh, something about this game is old school. That's totally awesome. I designed it and I want four of them. Best of all, with it I can create the most powerful mutants ever. And one's totally under my control. Watch. <laughs> totally cool, Nespa. Check this out. Cortex, what is the meaning of this? Release me immediately. I used to run this operation. And it's time I did again. Yes, go for it, Dr. Cortex. Eye of the tiger. Hadouken! Paper covers rock, but paper can't stop rocks. It makes no sense! I will destroy you for this, Cortex. Your life is forfeit. Oh, my. Talk about a two-dimensional bad guy. Yes, I wrote that line earlier. Look, it's nothing personal. I simply need a source of bad mojo to fuel the NV. A lot of this, isn't and there? you're it. Embryo, I need you to keep the bandicoots busy. Use our secret plan. Yes, so secret it's not been invented yet. But wait, Cortex. How will we get these devices onto mutants' heads? Oh, that's the easy part. We'll give it to them. <laughs> so a lot of this game's budget went to the cutscenes, didn't it? By now, we need to find a way to take them out at the source. How do we do that? Well, I think I know someone we can ask. Ugh, I don't believe I'm gonna say this, but. Let's go talk to Nina. Coco! I think that NV gave you brain damage. Look, she'll be on the outs with Cortex after all her shenanigans. Face it, she's our only lead. Mm. <laughs> Is that gonna be our bizarre trio? Now we're gonna get we're gonna crunch eventually. <laughs> Okay, we saved Coco. VAs and cutscenes. Alright, well, away we go, I guess. I wonder if Coco plays anything. Or or if there's a way that I can change characters. No, nothing seems to do that. I tried many buttons, but none of them are the Coco button. 
Well, let's see. Maybe we can get to a second boss today. That'll depend on how confusing and how... At places like this, you can climb straight up. See? You don't have to jump everywhere. Just most places. Uh... Hmm. Well, I'm now trapped in a Tony Hawk half-pipe. Okay. So Titan guy can't, but Crash can. Wasn't until Crash 7 that they added wall climbing. That sounded like Quentin. That didn't sound like Tom Kenny. Oh, I got it. Ow! Congratulations, you've earned your first upgrade. Both you and the creatures you jack can be upgraded. The mojo you collect will count towards upgrading the mutant you are jacked on at the time. If you're not jacked, then it counts towards upgrading your own abilities. Man, imagine not being jacked. I guess I'll get Darkness Guy. Oh, it's the same guy. I thought this was like a different element, maybe. Can I get up? Maybe I can't. I don't think he looks nimble enough to swing on that rope. You'll have to do it yourself. Mmm, yeah! That jump, that aerial mobility, that's some, uh... That's some worse than Simon Belmont aerial mobility. Look at that speed loss! Man, at least Simon can keep his momentum once he jumps. There we go, just barely made it. And I'm back here again. I don't remember struggling this much even with uh, tag team racing. And I call that game out for, like, being a jack of all trades, not really being great in any one category. That is the worst double jump I've ever seen. Crash has never had a great double jump. I mean, it did, like, uh, it stopped his momentum pretty much dead in the original trilogy in Crash 3. But at least it was consistent. It happened the same way every single time. This, I don't know what's happening. It's like invisible walls just spawn in front of him sometimes. It's so inconsistent. Thank God I don't have lives this time. Maybe I need a better running start. Except I'm running into invisible shit that way, too. Who thought this was okay? Oh, we got. You did fine that time. Alright, now I just gotta get lucky again. Why is he losing speed? Get on up! wants to extend your first jump before you double jump? Uh, how? I don't have a slide in this game. And just dead in the water. Do I have to start over again? Yep! All the way from the beginning! This might be the last area we see. 
Ooh, boy, are we going to be able to get past this challenge? At least the background is beautiful. That is... I'm just looking at it. That is a really nice background painting. That's like that's like a Ghibli avatar background. Man, why couldn't they put some of this game's budget on the gameplay? Uh, I don't even know why I spun there. You know what? Give me one second. Unplug and replug my controller, see if that changes anything. I wonder if maybe I was having some kind of a little bit of a misinput involved. I think it feels a little bit better. Still having problems, obviously, but... Alright, final jump! Nope! A little too late. What is happening at the bottom of the screen there? Is Crash turning into like a little rectangle for a second? Mm. Alright, up we go. I'm definitely more consistent now than previously, but even so... Good thing that other fellow left. He, you wouldn't be having fun watching this. There we go. All right, we finally made it. We can progress. Eight percent. Oh, what is this? This is a big circle. This is a hamster wheel. Uh-oh. Oh, I wanted to be, like, on top of that. I see a thing over there. Must be something. Uh, I don't think I can get over there easily, though. So, I'm not going to. Mmm, that jump, that loss. Loss.jpg. Stop facing forward. There's a 2D section. I see a bandicoot. I I'm no longer the pretty one. Can help? I'm just oh, trying to set an alarm bell. Got a big bandicoot. Oh, 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 nice. Got it. Remember when the crash enemies didn't talk? They were just like, uh, turtles and things? Got a Tim Burton tree back there. No? I guess I'm not supposed to freeze that. I'm also not supposed to... I thought I was supposed to, like, grab the wall behind there. 
Have I been here or is this a new, this is a new waterfall river path? Get a flashback to the uh, Bomberman canals. All right, I see ice up ahead. Are we up to Ice World? That was a whole 2%. Are we up to 10? Scene. Move faster, mutant slaves! We need all mutants brought under NV control. Great Lyle? That's a new character. Here they come! Get ready! Their star meter seems to go down less slowly this time, too, conveniently. Ow. Oh, can I do that? I guess the uh, the special command button was replaced with uh, jumping this time, because that used to be X. to Wombat Girl, or whatever she is. Oh! Man. You know what? I froze him. Go on with your life. Be free, Titan. Go invade a walled city or something. Do what Titans do. Alright, there's a snowman. There's a not Wumpa fruit. The hell are these? Where's Wombat Girl? I want to find out more about new, original, fascinating character. We haven't encountered any other kinds of titans yet. They're very slow introducing the types of them in this game, compared to the previous game. It's also kind of bizarre, a crash game where Wumpas are, Wumpa fruits are extremely rare. Just down in the drink. I think I'm collecting them, uh, the mojo slower in this game than the previous one as well, because I'm only up to 2,000 so far. What are you? You are a switch. Let's hit you. That did something. What did it do? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna stealth up this way. Hit this other switch. There we go. Oh, you stay over there. Kind of reminds me of the uh, ice section of Twin Sanity. You know, being made of ice, that's the only similarity. Alright, another big wheel. That's kind of neat. 
I don't like how narrow it is with this not controllable camera. I don't hate the villains' personalities in this continuity. I mean, Cortex is still just Cortex. I kind of like batshit crazy engine. I, I wish he had that personality had been in you know a better crash game. Oh, we got cat ninjas. We need to find out where Nina's school is, Crash. Try talking to the local mutants. Local mutants. And Banjo speak. I'm the architect's assistant, by the way, and I'll be acting as translator, as he doesn't care enough about you to form actual words. <laughs> okay. So translate. Hardly. I like time to stay like I'm dead with my underwear. <laughs> The Honorable Architect is greeting you, and has no time to talk to lesser mutations. Security! Oh, do we have security? So, you're Crash, right? I heard a box killed your father or something, huh? I'm kind of a big deal myself. A box? I keep this place safe. Is that lore? Was Crash's father killed by a box? Is that why he hates crates so much? Hello, Mr. Crash person, and welcome to our lovely home. Feel free to talk to Big Mouth over there, or hit me if you want entertainment. Well, okay. Oh, that's good. I don't feel like I should hit you anymore. Wow, that needs a lot to get it moving. It's a crash game with talking NPCs is extremely bizarre. I'm gonna look that up, look what up real quick. Oh, the, the crash's father thing? So this maintains the crash tag team racing thing of you being able to beat the shit out of any NPC at any time with reward dialogue for doing so. Hello. You wanna talk to me? Oh, hot diddly, that's fantabulous. Nobody talks to me since Grenada. There's a prison near here. Weird place, spooky place too. I stayed there a spell. Not for you, but lousy ambience. I wouldn't go there. Everybody but me that went there never came back. Those scary girls made sure of that. That prison sounds pretty weird, Crash. There might be some link between it and evil school. <laughs> I just want to give you some change. I'm all jiggly. Okay. So, we go into Ice Prison. I don't remember the school being icy last time. Is this the prison? Is this the place? This looks icy and prisony. There are ends here. Even though, like, apparently the school was not named after Cortex or anything to do with him, and he was like a, a failure of a student there. I guess everyone who goes there gets the initial N. That's a recurring trait amongst Crash villains. Oh, this is the prison. It looks like a- this looks like a- this looks straight out of Avatar. This is a- a Water Tribe location. Oh, that's deep water. Uh, Crash 4. Here's something I didn't talk about on stream. The Some art has come out of it. And, uh... 
there's a character who looks very much like Entropy, but very feminine? So, either they completely redesigned Entropy, and are just not going to mention it, much like the soft reboot character designs. Or maybe there's an explanation for the difference appearance. Since it's a content continuation from Crash 3. And being stuck in the past and everything. Maybe it's another form of entropy. Or maybe it is just a female, like, character who is similar to entropy. It's bizarre to me to think they would have made him, like, super bishonen, though. It's a interesting character direction choice. They they don't need to redesign the characters though. That is another thing that has me a little bit worried about Crash 4. They have they really not learned their lesson after the 10 Coco designs that no one asks for this. This is a bad idea. The original design is fine, really. Imagine throwing one of these guys at, at an opponent in the in the crate battles in Crash Bash. That'd be a one-hit knockout. Can't seem to find anything about Crash's father. But the way that NPC said that dialogue was like it was something we should have known. What a bizarre thing to include. Maybe it was just a line of dialogue meant to incite the joke that I just made. Like, that's most supposed to make the viewer think, Oh, that's why Crash hates, hates boxes so much. Or maybe it was just throwing darts without any real thought as to whether it would make sense or not. I'm gonna go with that one. That's gonna be my guess. I am glad the Titans are more mobile in this. I don't know how much they needed to be or for uh, Crash's attack to be fists instead of spinning. I think this probably would have been a better game if it was just Crash spinning and killing enemies. But what do I know? I don't know how to make a Crash game. And I've only played all of them. This is a little tedious. These sections seem unnecessary. I'm also not really using the action commands, like, at all. They haven't proven necessary. And I'm not actually sure if I can do them while myself on a Titan, or if that's only something Crash can do against them. We did learn there were a uh, quick time, like uh, Wind Waker counter moves in this game. That's something they added. that, or maybe the wiki just wasn't updated by anyone that cared. If there is one piece of lore we got from this game, it's the whole, uh, Cortex didn't actually invent the Evolvo Ray. He, like, stole it from, uh, Embryo thing. I think this was the first time that was came up, that has come up, or there's been, like, hints of it in other Crash games. Oh, 
No, I wanted that guy. Hmm. Well, what's gonna happen now? Am I gonna keep my dude? Uh, this one's on fire. Okay. Is this the turtle guy? Oh no, it's the turtle guy! I hated this guy last game. This iceberg must be how they get to the prison. Oh, it, it must? I thought it was just a place... Uh, it, I thought it just had a fruit on it. I'm gonna need this guy, aren't I? I'm not gonna be able to swap to the preferred titan. Maybe I should have stored him. Ow. There we go. Now I got both of them. Go on, get out of here. No, I don't need you. Leave. <laughs> I have acquired fist of some kind. Now, what are these? Do I need turtle guy for these? I do not. The less I have to use turtle guy, the better! Do I still have him? I do still have him. Ow. Jump on shallow water to ratsicle surf. Uh, hmm. Oh, it's like the it's like the boarding in the last game. That I didn't really feel added to the game in any way, but I, I guess it's cool that there's less of it this time. How do I just get off? No, no, fuck off! I want to, I want to get off. I want to do the platforming parts as crash, but I don't know. I can only switch. Hmm. I guess I have to abandon that guy. Oh, uh, only the only the Titan can uh, can do the surfing. So I have to be on the Titan for this. Again, thank God for unlimited lives. Last game didn't have that. Created some problems for us a couple times. I guess I should have saved Turtle Guy, but am I really gonna need him? How much am I gonna need him? Alright, get on. Oh no, that's a, I needed that. Come back. Is there just no way to avoid that? I've been hit every time they use that move. Sounds like a schnitzel. Which, for all I know... It could be that voice actor. Oh, I always forget his name. Joe DiMaggio. John DiMaggio? I get them mixed up. I 
don't mind me passing by. Uh, is the iceberg coming? Where am I going? I can't see. Get out of here, wombat girl of unknown voice actress. Usually, D. Bradley Baker is the go-to for uh, like grunts and animal noises and animation. That goes across the water, too? Okay, so am I just riding this the whole length of, like, the trip? Is this gonna get close to that one so I can hop ship? I'm just gonna go on the same route, I guess. This is a bizarre section. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, not that way. Man, how far back am I? Oh, there's, uh, there's my ride. I need that. just slipped. Well, at least I seem to get a checkpoint on every body of ice. I just need to wait for... There's another one. Alright, they're somewhat frequent. It's just kind of a big mess of platforms in the water. I have no idea which one I'm going to next. I'm just kind of wandering. Which has been a lot of this game is wandering. Alright, this looks like a new path. This looks like the way to go. I've reached a new area. And a new save point. Is this really their commute to school every day? I find that difficult to believe. Riding a specific series of icebergs. We're almost at two hours. I would like to get to the school and or prison and see what's going on there. I feel like we're due for a second boss soon. Crunch is still a wall. We've not found evil Crunch yet. You're not Crunch. Uh. Great. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I'm still not using Turtle Guy. I'm gonna leave Turtle Guy. So it seems like I can only have two forms at a given time, including Crash. Like, if I have two Titans, I cannot go back to default Crash without abandon abandoning one of them. Maybe I'm not understanding the Titan storage system, but that's how I gather it so far. get that. I have no projectiles. Does Turtle Guy have projectiles? Oh, I made it good. I have acquired key. Now I can play one of the super secret hidden cortex levels. Ice climbing champion. Oh, this is a narrow section that I can't change the camera angle for. Oh, 
nice, treacherous morning commute to evil school. Apparently this game thinks teaching the player certain mechanics is optional. I had that problem with the last game. There was some stuff I was just never told. And I, I, I did mention this is when games tended to come with manuals, so uh... Maybe it's in there? Even so, they do go out of their way to teach you some of the mechanics of the game. You would think that they would teach you all of the important ones. Fortunately, the turtle guys seem to just have been entirely optional. They had no abilities required to progress in this area. Which is good, because I hate using the turtle guys. They suck. Alright, is this the, the evil school? Castle? Fortress? Prison? Alright, Crash. We're inside. Try to find out something about Nina's school. Find information in the ice cave. I'll just ask some cavemen living in here. Well, they got robots. Don't mind me, just gonna go this way. Uh, nah, I'm done. I'm done fighting. I'd, I'd rather not. So I'll just not. I'll just go climb this ice wall because it's uh, the kind of ice that isn't slippery for some reason. Very climbable. I'll grab that, I guess. I got a better spin attack, which I haven't even been using. scary. But, but what is the center attached to? What access is this device rotating around? Obviously the center, but it is not attached in any spot. Therefore, my confusion as to the physics of this contraption. Come on, get up. Get up, Crash. Fortunately, abundance... While climbing Abundance. crash, you can jump to another climbable area. Just press the jump button when you're in position. Checkpoints seem pretty abundant in this. Oh, I, there wasn't a climbable up there. Seems like every time you reach a new platform, more or less, you get a checkpoint. Which is nice. I approve of not having to redo long sections. No! I wanted you to jump back, Crash! What do, you what, do you what do you think about the music in this game, Darian? Is it sufficiently crashy? Oh, okay, I made it. I'm fine. We're good. Soon we will return to the evil school's secret northern entrance. This hall of freaks and mutants is perfect for the evil school science fair. Nina will be doomed to suffer in mediocrity. Hear that, Crash? The entrance to the school must be near the rat village. He has no quiet voice. Hear that, Crash? Let's go to the rat sickle's kingdom, Crash. Doomsday weapons from your locker at the end of the school day. I'm getting tired of replacing janitors. Wait, wait a minute. Cortex runs the evil school now? When did this happen? I thought they didn't like Cortex because he was a crappy student at evil students school. Of evil public school. Please chain and gag all your homework assignments before dropping them off. I have enough escaped mutants causing me problems. Thank you very much. Just 
little identical looking weasel girls. Monsters and armpit farts. Quality, setting, world building, and writing. Ow. No. Fuck off. I'm gonna guess I have to fight all those dudes to progress. There's some uh, hazards in this area. Ow! Tasty shame? Excuse me? That was vaguely fetishy. I can freeze these guys. Combat maneuver. God, I hate that. I don't know how to avoid that if I can't avoid it. I can't. Go on, get, get caught in the water, idiot. I say as I get caught in the water. Uh. Oh, here we go. Go on, get up there. Come on. Alright. Oh, there's more? I didn't want to do that. You guys can get out of here. Hello, welcome back, Envy. Uh, ran into a little trouble on one side. One 2D platforming area due to the controls, but uh, otherwise we've been making progress. Still don't know what to do with these. They're just kind of kind of just ice blocks hanging out here. I see someone frozen in there. Is that Gru? It's not obviously. It looks like Gru from Despicable Me, just frozen in a giant fist. Well, I'm guessing I have to do something with the block of ice, because there's not a whole lot else I can do here. Oh, okay, I just have to hit the thing. It's Mike from Monsters, Inc. No? It's a worm. It's a dancing worm who is also a waterbender. Oh, that's a titan. Oh, you're going to like this one, Crash. This titan can throw enemies around using the power of its mind. How can he do it? Science. See if there's something you can move around by using this telekinetic guy's powers. I've not yet discovered a way to go back to Crash if I have two Titans. That's kind of what I figured.
He's got to hurl it. He can't gently levitate it into position. I'm not quite understanding how to get up there. Maybe I can bring the ice block somewhere else. Maybe I can just go straight for the... Yeah, I can just go straight for the lever. Alright. Can I bring you down? No. Collectibles are beyond power-up reach. You have this co-op, you can share them with your buddy. Okay, so there is a, there is a co-op like mode to this game. You can target and pull down. I had that suspicion with the intro menu. Just recently learned there was a co-op in Ratchet Deadlock as well, so that's something that I am planning to do co-op with a friend. When we have the opportunity to do that. Go back to crash after this point. That seems like a good idea. That doesn't seem like the most uh, combat utility titan. Ow. Try pulling those blocks out from the wall. Oh, I'm trying. There we go. Nope, dead end over there. Just checking. And into the throat. Four, man. Aim and throw the TNT. Okay. Well, it was already exploding. There we go. Uh. Now, how do I get over there? Can I climb? Oh, I need to... That's right. You can, you can pull levers. far have we come? 13%. Isn't this the new crash? Uh, define new. This is the last crash game before the remakes. Whoops, didn't want to do that. This is not Crash 4, no. Crash 4 is not out yet. It is still in development, and I don't think we have a release date for it yet. This is Mind Over Mutant on the PS2, which there was uh, Twin Sanity, then Crash of the Titans, and then Mind Over Mutant. And Titans and this game were unusual because they are beat-em-ups. Crash does not spin. I mean, he can, but it's not his main move. Very strange pair of games in the Crash series.
And after this, I will be all caught up on the mainline Crash games, including Insane Trilogy, which I kind of interrupted the uh, other line of Crash games in order to play when it came out, shortly after it came out. Oh, these guys are annoying. How come my guy can't shoot, like, energy bullets? Ow. Oh no! Mind Freak! Now, how can I get up here, I wonder? You know what? Probably does have like a special move. Hmm. This doesn't seem like the way to get up there. Is there an ice block I can move? Okay, another thought. That's a tight jump. Not crazy about that jump. Let's try it again. seem to jump that high. And I can't look around with the camera to see what my other I options are. Hmm. Well, I could, uh, I guess I can do that. I can do, like, the, the Titan jump. That, I don't think that was intentional, but it got me up, so... Whatever, I suppose. Ooh, don't want to fall now. That'd be bad. A very demanding little section. Oh, and there's more. Oh boy. Oh no! Well. Back we go. Back in. Go on. Oh no, I don't want to abandon you. I just want to, I want to put you away for a second. Suffering so hard at this game. 
There are probably points in this game that uh, would have made me give up as a child. Oh no, why can't you grab it? Come on! I want to remake so badly. I would- I wouldn't- I wouldn't count your chickens. I think the, uh, fan favorite for a remake at this point is, uh, Twin Sanity. And even that is not- it's not a- not a good game. It's just- it's nostalgic, because people grew up with it. There's a lot of problems Twin Sanity has. A lot of incomplete stuff. A lot of buggy stuff in that game. Very rushed. Lots of uh, story elements that were planned but didn't make it due to time constraints. Hmm. There we go. I guess we're in the Ratsicle Kingdom. Are we coming to a boss soon? Is this almost the end of a section? lends to Insanity towards having a remake is how much did make it in the game, how fucking unfinished it is. Was that really a remake, though, or is it, you know, a, a completed version of the game? And also the question is how much would people like that if the story was suddenly totally different to better align with what was originally intended for the Evil game? school must be on the other side of this gate crash. I think we need a mutant that spins to open it. If it's not too much trouble, Crash, can you go to the desert nearby? Lots of scary bads for you to fight. They spin, too. Desert? Return to Wumpa Island? We should head back to Wumpa Island, Crash. You can take the route we originally traveled to get here. Huh? Wait, you want me to go back across the floating... Icicles? Oh, I didn't mean to hit select there. What's this do? I didn't I didn't have the guy for this last time. Come on. Hit the thing. Ow! You just whack me in the head? I remember those. They had them in the prison. Spookiest thing ever to come out of an egg. Uh, lately anyway. <laughs> Look like much, but in my four-legged days, I was a proud warrior of many a hard-fought bottom. I got a battle, battle, a battle. Hardly. I don't come to a stain like I'm done with my underwear. <laughs> the honorable architect is greeting you, and has no time to talk to lesser mutations. I heard hardly an underwear. How about now that I'm psychic? Well, great. And my little bit of time to be complete and confident. The architect says he's not impressed by a telekinetic chicken. I disagree. That thing is hot. Excuse me, lady? Test tube chicken little. All right. Whatever floats your boat, ma'am. What is that thing? Seriously, it's like someone put a turkey brain in a microwave, you know? I don't even remember what the original path is. Does, does it really want me to go all the way across the icebergs again? Where does this go? I swear I heard him say condoms. Maybe. 
they could get away with it, because in court they'd say, oh no, it's just, it's just nonsense speak, it doesn't mean anything. It's not dialogue. Like anyone would go to court for a video game saying condoms. I thought maybe I could do something under the statue, but I guess not. Just crawling under the town. What game does this remind you of? Also, there's a thing up there. What is that thing floating up there? Are the spinning guys, are they the turtles, or are they a new kind of titan that we haven't seen yet? Also, spinning. We need something that can spin. Where am I ever going to find a creature that's good at spinning? Man, I'm stumped! Oh, the rhino rollers. I remember them. Uh, well... So it wants me to go back across here, and maybe back across the floating icebergs. I don't know. I don't know where the wasteland is. Crash's mom was fun. Mind over mutant. I'm good. I don't think I need to backtrack to the Wumpa Islands. I got my fill. I was hoping to get to a second boss, but uh, they want me to do that. I'm, I don't think I need to do that. I'm alright. I played the game. I saw what it was like. It had some, some improvements with the Titans over Crash the Titans. Yeah, some shortcomings with the platforming. But, I mean, at least they tried to make it more platforming focused again. Uh, that's it for me. I'm streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays and something with Jack Saturdays and Sundays. So come back on Saturday for whatever we happen to do this weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.